Yes, welcome back to uh, 67 Hail Hail on YouTube. I'm Hamish Carton, joined with David Walton again here. I almost forgot your name there, David. Um, we've got St Mirren at home at Celtic Park this uh, midweek. You're probably expecting a fair few changes to be made by oh. Neil Lennon because, you know, we've got all these games. We've got more European matches, the Cup semis coming up at the weekend, probably up against a, a team St Mirren have lost their last five away from home in the league as well. So it's a very winnable game. What one player would you want to see starting this week? Um, I'd like to see just off top, just off the top of my head. Here, I'd like to see Moritz Bauer come back. Um, Controversial. Just to see, just see him back in the pitch and to keep him, keep him going. Uh, I think that interestingly, over the weekend, uh, Lennon actually said, I think it was after Lazio for Aberdeen that making more than three changes is detrimental with the team. Well, that's that's what his belief is anyway. So even though we would expect a game at home to St Mirren in such a packed schedule to have all these changes, mm -hmm. I'd be surprised if it was any more than three. Um, I'll be controversial then. Can I tell you who I think will start? And you can tell me whether you agree or not. Right, on you go. Bio. Aye, why not? He start, I mean, he started the game against Hearts earlier on in the season at Parkhead. He started against this. So I think that's the only two games he's actually started so far this season. I just think it's a perfect game for him. He's up against, as I say, a team that have lost their last five in the road. He's playing at Celtic Park. I think a lot of folk are, are judging Bio at the moment, and he's he hasn't looked convincing when he's come on as a substitute the last few weeks. But equally, he's coming on with 20 minutes to go. Um, and games were either chasing or games have already wrapped up. He came on at, against uh, Aberdeen at the weekend, and he's came, trying to struggle. He came on at the wrong time though, as well, because everyone else had put away, you know, their whatever they'd finished the game. The majority of the Celtic team, that everyone, you know, Rogic had one where he should have played the many shot. James Forrest had the same. So I felt for him a wee bit in that way. He was expected to come on when everyone else had effectively, you know, it was effectively full time in their minds. And I'd like to see him start a game at Celtic Park against a, a team like St Mirren, where I think he can perform. Him and he scored. You've got to remember, he scored against Partick Thistle. And no matter what the Rangers guys will say, he scored <laughs> against Hearts as well. Two, I would argue. Um, Craig Levine took those ones off him, but he's, he's a player that can score goals if he's given the chances. Now, I want to see him given that chance again on Wednesday night. Uh, you make a good point. I mean, in terms of like when he started, he has very least gone amongst the goals, you like to say it. Um, he didn't get to at Hearts against Hearts. I did. He did he? I did. Um, but He's been coming on, like you're saying, he's been, he's been quite unfortunate. I mean, you can't drop Edward for any big game. You just can't. He's too good. Um, so this game totally reads like a game for Bio. It really does. Um, home to St Mirren. Big cup game at the weekend. which just sounds like a game Edward will start. Um, I agree with you. I still think he's got something to offer Bio. I, yeah. I, he's still a young guy. He's, he, he's, he's not a dud. He's not He's not a Bangura. He's not a Amido Baldi. He's not a Paul Brozek. He's better than that. Right, well he's he, not an Edward, he's not a Dembele, but he's better than that. Well, he's still a young boy. That's what people yeah. forget. I mean, he looks about 29, but he isn't. And he? Edward yeah. struggled for a bit when he first arrived. It wasn't until that goal at Ibrox when he was, you know, properly turned into the, the player that he, well, he's not the player that he was now, but it wasn't until that goal when Celtic fans actually realised, like, we could have a good player in our hands here. I, so. don't, I, I don't actually think, I don't think the supporters are, are sort of ruling out by you. I think a lot of this has come from some media figures more than anything. I, I think a lot in the support... Um, Still quite happy to see him feature on occasion. It's it's a tough one because much of what you see, Bio, you just can't drop head mm. and it, he's not going to go too up front. It's not his system. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'd I'd like to see him it's against St Mirren, and if he starts, you would be better against him scoring. Any other players you want to see? Just you've you've obviously spoken about nice. Bauer. I'd like to see Shved, but I don't think we will. Um, Came on a couple of weeks ago, didn't he? So he's maybe a wee bit closer than he was before. I but Neil Neil just loves Forest. And I mean, I, I think um, yeah. he'll play Forrest every single week. I mean, he, he might think Forrest comes under this bracket that he put McGregor in of oh, Forrest is too good mm -hmm. to leave out. Um, so I'd, I'd love to see Shved. I think he's got something to offer. If you're looking, obviously, Frimpong's part of that kind of quartet of youngsters that we signs. Any other of those you'd like to see? Afalabi, Connell, um, I don't know if Afalabi and Connell are maybe still injured, but he's not, he's not going to play. Come yeah. on, Afal Abbey or, or, or Connell just yet. Uh, interestingly, with Afal Abbey, though, he did say when he signed, oh, he's on the cusp of the first team, maybe we'd be coming in at some stage, but we've not seen that just yet. So I don't think if there's any rotation, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be the French players. It won't be, I don't think it'll be anyone from the, the development squad. Um, but yeah, again, I still don't think there'll be more than three either. Prediction? There's a mid I'll not go overboard. 5 0. <laughs>
I'll go for uh, three 0 to Celtic. And uh, remember, if you want to follow us on YouTube and you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that right now. And also, if you want to hear the views of David or myself, uh, 67 hailhail.com.